Well, good morning, guys. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, well, we brought a unit in. Well, we brought it in on Saturday uh, to check it out, and uh, well, we found the problem. So we're gonna go ahead and start tearing into this, and let me show you guys. Well, guys, after checking this one out, we found that the timing cover gasket is leaking oil. But not only the timing cover gasket, oil's coming out of the back between the gasket, between the block and the head. So on this one, for sure the head has to come off. So on this one, guys, uh, thought about it for a bit, and we decided that we're already going to tear it apart, so might as well just... Uh, we're gonna go ahead and in frame this one. I'm gonna go ahead and re-sleeve it. New pistons, new rings. I mean, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go ahead and in frame this sucker. As you can see right there, oil coming out of the head. Valve cover is a little, a little dirty, but you don't see oil. Fresh oil coming out of it. Fresh oil is down here between the block and the head gasket. It's over here. And it's coming out the back. In the back, you can't really see. Oh, well, you can see that little streak right there. That's fresh oil. So, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and tear this in apart and just do an in frame on this one, guys. Let me go ahead and get started. Well guys, how we getting this far so this far? Let me go ahead and continue with this guys. Uh, this is just a breakdown dude. I'm gonna take it kind of fast and we're just gonna tear this thing apart. So you can go ahead and start cleaning and uh, getting to the fun part, building it up. Well guys, uh, so far so good, so let me go ahead and continue with this one. Let's get that turbo and uh, engine oil uh, EGR cooler and exhaust off. And then we'll go ahead and move to the other side. Uh, we went ahead and got the turbo, exhaust, all the little parts here on the right side of the engine. So now I got to go to the left side of the engine, but let me just show you guys. There's a better view of the oil being gripped in front of the engine. And here's a better view of the oil leaking out of the timing cover. And there is the oil leaking all along the head. Front, back, and on the other side, the same thing. So let me go ahead and move over to the other side. 
Oh guys, uh, we're going to go ahead and continue disassembling this motor. I'm going to go ahead and start on the top valve cover and some plates on the passenger side. So let me go ahead and get started. Well guys, uh, I wish I could say we're almost done, but we still got quite a bit to go. This engine has quite a few parts we have to remove, so let me go ahead and continue. Remember guys, uh, we're going to tear apart this engine, including timing covers. We're going to pull that radiator. We still got quite a bit to go, but we're going to completely redo this engine. New liners, new pistons, new rings, so on and so forth. I'm going to get new timing covers on there and uh, well, whatever else we find that is too worn or broken. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, continue with this in frame dismantling sorry disassembly Well guys, uh, there we removed the harness, the injector harness and the part of the engine harness. Uh, as we're working on it, I don't, I like to remove it because I don't want to crush any of the connectors be it by me stepping on it or some heavy steel part falling on it. So I just completely remove the harnesses. That way they don't get damaged while we're working on the engine. Uh, once we're done, we'll go, we'll go ahead and assemble the engine, clean up all the wires, fix any frayed or broken ends or whatever and reinstall that harness so uh, let me go ahead and continue guys well guys uh, that was a removal of the air plenum so let me go ahead and continue I'm going to remove that thermostat housing valve cover and undo the rockers, get all the push rods and undo all the head bolts. So I can go ahead and remove that head, open up some space. Alright, let me go ahead and get to it. Well guys, our day's almost over, so this is how far we got. We basically stripped the left side of the engine. No turbo, no exhaust, none of, the, none of those brackets, water necks, none of that stuff on there. That valve cover is loose. All you gotta do is pr pull it out. All the hoses and stuff are off, so let me go around.
left side, plums off, filters off. I mean, we basically got everything off on this side, thermostat housing, all that junk. So basically, what's going to be left for tomorrow is valve cover comes off, rocker assembly, push rods. Hopefully, we'll get the head off, and I am going to go ahead and remove that radiator. Because uh, on this one we're going to do an end frame and we're also going to replace those timing covers. Not sure about the cover itself but the gaskets do, are, are going to be replaced. Both back and front covers. So um, we'll go ahead and get back to this one tomorrow. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.